What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Okay, by now you guys have probably heard of all of these issues that are coming up in regards to quality control for the new iPhone 15 series, specifically the Pro and Pro Max. Um, but we're not going to touch on the frame issues, the scratches, the fingerprint smudges. We're not going to touch on the dirt in the lenses. Today I want to exclusively talk about a feature that seems to be impacting 99% of users, and that is the overheating. So a lot of people are talking about just how hot this device is getting in daily use. If you guys follow the channel, you know we love doing temperature tests during new betas or anytime an update is presented to our iPhones just because of how bad heat management has been on this. So now I wanna jump into a video today going over just a daily usage. We're gonna put it through a couple tests, running some videos, maybe doing a benchmark, a game, charging, all that to see what's going on. Because for once, we have not experienced these issues at all. We were out in bright sunlight over the weekend. We were recording videos, taking photos, and using it a lot more heavily than you would anticipate using a device, purely for the point that it's new and we want to go through it and see what all it can do. Um, but people are experiencing and commenting that simply fast charging the devices are causing this overheating and getting to temperatures exceeding 110 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty crazy. But again, for those of you that follow the channel know, we've seen that before on updates alone. But those are one-offs. These are only when these updates are coming out, not on daily usage. So let's take a look at it, see if heat management is an issue, see if it's the chip that's being overclocked that needs to be underclocked at this point, um, and really go from there. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so jumping into this, before I started the video, I was doing a little searching on the App Store and just on the home screen scrolling looking for some apps. So it wasn't completely stationary recently, so it's got a little warmth to it already. Let's start off with a stationary device. And you can see we're running about 83, 96. And traditionally, the top of the devices are usually where it gets hotter, specifically around the cameras and that top area, as you can see, 97. 93 at the bottom. Okay, so this gives us a baseline to start with. So again, not cool, but by no means inoperable and inconvenient to hold. So jumping right into it, let's just run a speed test just to get the modems going. Run one of these babies really quick and see how that works. And then we'll throw on some multitasking, some videos. And the whole time while all this is running, let's double check. Still 96, 98, it's a little high. Back to 88, 93, 96. So still hovering around where we were. That just finished. Let's go ahead and jump into YouTube. Let's do one of our videos. And let's just play the new LG Stand By Me Go. Turn this down. Let's turn the brightness up all the way. We'll let that play right on top. Let's go ahead and go into, let's go read what's going on on, let's go to nine to five Mac. We'll do a little scrolling here, see what's new. Nothing crazy. While that's going, let's check it again. Still hanging around 96, 96, 96. 93, 93, 95, nothing crazy just yet. So let's go ahead and jump into The Verge. A little more scrolling. All right, let's go to some gameplay. Now we'll shrink that down and let's jump back in a match here while we have a YouTube video going as well. And I understand this is very minimal as far as who would actually be watching a video while playing a game, but I want to go ahead and show you, just trying to push it to the limit a little bit, how insignificant uh, of a heat increase we've been experiencing. So let's wait for this to start. Okay. There we go. I am by no means good at these mobile games, but 
just to give you guys an idea of what's going on. going all right switch back to the video for a minute let's take a look at it now 96 96 96 93, 91. So again, as you can tell, still pretty uh, pretty doable. And again, mind you, that was with brightness turned all the way up. Let's go back for a second, use a score streak here. All right. So nothing crazy going on yet. I don't feel the device getting too hot. What I wanna do now, I'm gonna stop playing this bring this back full screen and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get a charger and plug it in for a few minutes all right so the video's still been playing I went and got our cable if you missed our other video talking about good accessories for the new iPhone 15 series this is one of the power deliver USB-C cables good for over USB-C um, with that little meter on the side so you can actually see how fast it's charging again mind you we're only at 89% here so nothing crazy you're not gonna get any fast charging going on uh, which Apple is known to do from 80 to 100, really kind of slow down the charging speed to preserve battery life. So yeah, we'll leave this plugged in and running. Still got the game, or excuse me, the video running, gaming in the background. Let's go back to the game for a minute. And now again, mind you, I don't know how many people will be charging their device, playing a game and watching a YouTube video at the same time. Uh, but here you go. This should give you another idea of how hot it's going to get if you choose to do something like this. Looks like the game froze, so we'll exit this match. Let's go ahead and get out of this for a minute then. Quickly check. Just another heat test. 87.4. There we go. 98.6. 95.5, 96, 93, 89. Okay. Let's go ahead and go into some social media. So this I could see people doing. Watching some social media while watching a video. Do a little scrolling. So get out of that. Go into TikTok if you want for a minute. Scrolling, scrolling. Okay. Jump into Instagram if you want. Jump out of that. Let's go into messages. The whole regular song and dance. The pointlessly opening 10 different apps at once to see. Let's open up Netflix. Jags. So yeah, okay. It's only pulling in nine watts right now. Let's see what we're gonna get for the last test. 83, 94, 98, 98, and 98. So last thing I'll do is I'll pull up the camera let the video just run for a second. Obviously this is gonna turn off, uh, or I should say pause the video that we have going in the back, hence this baby right here. But go ahead and record something really quick. You guys can see the background here. Run this for about 30 seconds. And while this records, I just wanna call out, as you can see, I'm sure there are some overheating issues, but as you can tell, this is not for every device. I am the first one to criticize Apple for their terrible heat management and all that, but this is getting blown out of proportion just a little bit. Obviously, this is a not very scientific test. We've been doing this for 40 seconds. Let's go ahead and test it again. 
but there are not too many substantial issues here. So there you go, that's the hottest we've seen. So far, 105 with the video running, 96, 96, 101, and mind you, it is still running in the back, right? So we didn't turn it off. 96 again, 101, 103. But these are not new temperatures. We've actually got these temperatures again on our iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max in the past. Just keep that in mind, guys. It's still fine to hold. It's not burning my hands. I can feel it warm, specifically around the sides of the device, uh, more than the back, which is interesting because you're going to be holding it like this. But yeah, you should not have any worries. Again, we're, we, we have a video playing, we have it charging, and we were just trying to record a video. All while this has had no break, really. So let us know in the comments down below. Are you experiencing an issue? If so, what is causing it? When do you see it coming? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.